going on, y'all? What's going on? It's your boy Bragging, Bragging Rice. Today we are, this is the second vlog, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to be talking about some things, talking about some experiences, all my music experiences, you feel me? Uh, you know, run-ins with certain artists, beef, whatever we're going to talk about, we're going to be talking about it on my YouTube, you feel me? But um, today we're going to be talking about the time um, I met Petey Crack, and uh, Petey Crack uh, chef chefed up a dinner for me one time. My first time meeting him, he, he cooked for me. So I'm basically against that. So um, I wanna say about like uh, 2016, 17, I started working on a mixtape or a, a project called Pray For My Enemies. Um, uh, a lot of people would say it's one of my best projects, not on streaming, any, any streaming platforms, but as far as in Connecticut and um, you know New Haven and stuff like that, it was it was a really big tape. A lot of people came out and showed love on that tape. Um, during the process of me putting together that tape, I was um, working with a, a local uh, record label that was you know trying to get they you know shit together. I guess you could say, um, and they were they were dealing with with PD Crack. They were being PD Crack in town and shit like that, whatever. So. Um, P.D. Crack would come to the crib. Like he was like staying at, at my house. Well, me and my friend, we had a we had a crib in um East Haven. And um anytime they came in town, they would stay at our crib. So me and PD be, we 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 built a uh a, a relationship, you feel me? Like at the time, you know, I was kinda still one foot in the streets and and trying to, you know, handle the music thing. So um we kinda connected on that, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of the people who were on the label, they weren't moving how I was moving, you feel me? I was really getting to the bag and going to the studio, you know what I'm saying? So um, uh, he took a liking to that, you feel me? Like, you know, I guess it was familiar, you know what I'm saying? He could relate to, you know, what I was going through, you know what I'm saying, what I was doing, because, you know, he come from that shit too. So um, uh, I want to say me and Petey Crack, we met, we met, we well, we, we had, a, I had a show, I had a show in North Carolina, in Charlotte. And um, we drove down there. Me, Ib Trizzy. Um, that might have been it. I think it was me and Ib Trizzy. Yeah, I think it was just me and Ib Trizzy. And um, where was the club at? I forgot the name of the club. But Gucci Man was the was the main artist that night. So Gucci Man was performing. Um, my fucking Ib Trizzy was supposed to perform. And and Petey Crack, um, I was supposed to perform too, but it wasn't enough time. I actually was just the hype man for Ivy Trizzy, and we was fucking with Crack on the stage and shit like that. We also ended up bumping to Casanova that night too. Casanova ended up po almost poking somebody up in that bitch. Well, this was before Casanova popped off, so he had just had that song. So niggas was respecting the nigga, seeing the nigga in the club and shit like that, cause you not from North Carolina, but the nigga got into a situation in VIP almost really put a nigga down with the with the hawk, you feel me? So a nigga, you know what I'm saying, at the time I was like, damn, this nigga, he the real deal and shit. You know what I'm saying? But to get back to the story, um, so we get to North Carolina. Um, you know, we already know what time we're supposed to be there, a club and shit, whatever. So niggas hungry. So niggas check into one of them hotels that got like the the uh, you know, the upstairs, downstairs, kitchen, all that shit, whatever, you feel me? So uh, we looking for food and shit, and I remember crap like, yo, man, I'm hungry, man. I'm trying to get some seafood, man. And he was like, yo, Brag, man, you you ever fucking ate um lobster and shit, crabs? I'm like, nah, man, I don't. I'm not, I'm not big on seafood. I, I fuck with shrimp. You feel me? Like that's it, fried shrimp, all different types of shrimps and shit. Just started fucking with fish a little bit, but as far as lobster and, and crab and shit, I wasn't eating none of that shit. You feel me? So he was like, when I told him I never had it. The nigga was like, what? He was like, oh, I'm about to make you some. So the nigga crack, we end up going to, uh, was it Harrison Teeter, Tweeter, or Tweeter and Harrison? I don't know what it, that shit called, that, that type of grocery market down there. And um, he bought all that shit, you know what I'm saying? We got back to the room, and bro chefed it up. Like, real nigga shit, bro chefed it up. Like, you feel me? Bro chefed it up. And we ate, you know what I'm saying? And we just chopped it up with shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So that was... My first time actually, like, you know, like, kind of, like, meeting crack, you feel me? And then whenever they, whenever they would come back or come back to the East Coast, come to New Haven, we would always chop it up. It was a couple of times we was in the club. 
And I'ma drop the footage. I got all the footage and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'ma drop the footage. Um, and we'll be chilling, you know what I'm saying? VIP, whatever. Ooh, Crackers are a real cool dude, man. And it's crazy, like I I I grew up on his music, so when 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 I when a nigga walked through my door and shit like that, you feel me? I was um I was working on music. So I actually spit uh, it's a song on Pray for My Enemies called Trap Phone. I actually spit the first verse for him. He told me his shit was dope. And then um from that, you know what I'm saying, I just started asking him questions. Um, I don't know if y'all know, but uh, Crack, uh, PD Crack, he had a, a, a verse back in the day. It was I forgot what the name of the song was called. Um, it was on um, State Property Chain Gang Volume 2. But he, the song, the verse go, Every time I'm in the building, they feeling me all crazy. Just made a million and spent it with shows, lady. V cooped it, recouped it. White Knight Goose swoosh shit. That's how I do shit. Listen to my new shit. Way better than that dirty job producing, nigga. Like, feel me? So, oh, hold up. My fault. I got a little excited. But, you feel me? So, that's one of my favorite crack verses. Aside that one, and one for P.E. Crack. Like, you feel me? Like, I grew up on this, you feel me? So, now he in my house. I'm I'm picking his brain, you feel me? I'm like, yo, like, I'm asking nigga. I'm like, yo, when you, temporary relief. The song is called Temporary Relief. Sorry, crack. So, I'm, 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 um, I'm asking nigga. He's, we, he's sitting on my bed. I'm asking nigga. I'm like, yo. Like, what was you thinking when you made Temporary Relief? Like, what was you thinking when you came up with that shit? Because growing up, like, Crack was ahead of his time and shit, you feel me? So, like, he had a flow that just stood out from everybody. That's why I think Hove never really wanted to drop the nigga, you feel me? That's why a nigga always kind of wanted to keep the nigga close and shit. But I don't really know how that relationship, you know, ended out, whatever the case may be. But... Crack talented, man. Always stood out, always was different. You feel me? Even from back then when I first heard one for PD Crack. It was like, that Matt go ring. He was the only nigga doing shit like that. Like doing like, you know, gun noises and shit like that, you know, in the verse. You feel me? Like, and make it sound lit. You feel me? So, like, Crack, Crack, good dude, man. Good people, man. Good vibes. Anytime, time, you feel me? Me and him linked good vibes and shit. I remember um, another time, um, I think he was with us. Uh, we had a show in New Haven. And Lil Bibby with Lil Bibby came down. Lil Bibby came down and um we had a good time, man. We was in terminal, had a good time and shit, you know what I'm saying? Showing them niggas around the town and shit, whatever. Woo -woo. You know what I'm saying? So our, our our little club like that we got going on in New Haven, Connecticut. So that was a good vibe, you feel me? Like crack a good dude. I also remember when uh this was the first time I met Annoyed. I never told Annoyed this, but um I actually just did a song with Annoyed probably like maybe a month ago, or a little less than that. But a couple years ago, when I first met Annoyed, um, well, I didn't, well, I don't even think they introduced me to him. Because uh, back then, like, they, they, they used to have sessions where, like, everybody just pull up and just work. If you had something completed, you would just, you know, tap in, whatever the case may be. So I'm finishing up a song for Pray For My Enemies called Trap Phone. And Crack is in the studio. Really, he's in the next room. You feel me? And um, I remember uh, the head of the label, uh, he called uh, or somehow, you know, annoyed pulled up and, you know, he introduced, I remember him being introduced to, to PD Crack and shit like that. You feel me? So I, I remember that. That was the first time I seen him. But uh, I remember while I was recording the song, the nigga Crack, uh, he was like, I remember, like, I, I think I laid the first verse down again. And now he's hearing the second verse. I'm now actually recording the second verse. And as I'm recording it, I'll never forget this shit. I'm looking at the nigga and the nigga just like, he fucking with me. And then, you know, as soon as the engineer hit the button, whatever, the nigga like brag that shit hard. Like, feel me? So that shit just gave me like a, a rush. You feel me? It hit my like, feel me? Like being there like idol. Nigga I used to look up to as a little nigga. You feel me? Telling me that nigga, my bars is hard. You feel me? So that shit was a good feeling. You know, crack. He really fuck with me and shit. So, um, after I finished recording the song, um, me and Crack went into the next room, and I was we just started working on the song and how it it started. Go, how it happened? It was like we was going like maybe like six bars, maybe six for six or four for four, and he went, I would go. He went, I would go. He went, I would go. And then after a while, we just saying this shit. We got the whole room, the whole studio going crazy and shit. Niggas like, we about to record this shit. So we're like, all right, cool. So niggas uh, set up the camera and shit. My man Ivy Trizzy and shit. So we started recording this shit. Shit was so fresh. I was really, literally 
reading the shit off my fucking phone. I'm going to try to put the shit in, in this clip. If not in this clip, maybe the next one after. So you see that everything I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I got facts. I got receipts for it. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of niggas be talking. Don't be know what the fuck they be talking. Just be lying. Just for views and clout. Like, you feel me? This is not that. Like I said, that's why I'm going to start doing these vlogs and shit and let y'all know. Because I've been around entertainment and just stars, period, since I was a baby. You know what I'm saying? I recorded my first song at two. But anyway, though, let's get back to the P. Crack situation. You feel me? Like, so me and Crack, we start, um, I be Trizzy, he, uh, hit, hit, you know, he recorded and shit, whatever. And we just start getting busy. And the history is, is, is there. You feel me? Like, when we were supposed to record the song, we never really recorded the song. Um, I never signed a contract with that company. A lot of funny shit was going on. But me and, me and, um, me and, and Crack, uh, maintain a, a great relationship. Even to this day, you know what I'm saying? We both follow each other and comment on each other's shit and shit like that. And actually, he wanted me to come out to Philly. So, Crack, if you listen to this, man, I'll be out in Philly real soon. We reaching out to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely appreciate you for always showing love and just being a real one. A lot, a lot of times, sometimes when you meet your idols, you feel me? The niggas disappoint you. And this wasn't that in that case. You know what I'm saying? Crack was a real nigga. And he was the very first person that made me crab legs and, and lobster. So, that's the story. Vlog 2. Y'all look out for vlog three. Rough floor, block cores, you know I'm torn when they be dropped. These shots, I'm out the tour, show P crack. Real shit, these niggas born, I'ma fill the dead, like give them hell on every song, and these niggas trap. Straight ass, go get a thong, I'ma trap niggas, you rap niggas, it's looking lost, y'all been it dumb. Sit dumb, don't get me wrong when I wasn't on. Times hard, locking in palm, on my way to hell. Cold world from the haram, mama told me well, like a sora out the Quran, took me out to hell. For a paradise of a law, now it's fitting strong, right round the kill of song. I just got the work, three for twenty, gotta get it all, gotta have a Two yeah, we live, man. That's the one and only Prince, man. I love this building too, man. They just owe us some drinks, though. We ain't got no liquor, man. We need some drinks. Look at my boy. My shit lit. Crack, talk to him, crack. Yeah. Live from the 215, my baby girl, right? <laughs>